Mike Rich from the Oregonian. Uh, Terry, how would you describe what happened in that first quarter? <laughs> uh, it's kind of indescribable, really. Um, look, they um, they came out uh, really energized, focused. I mean, they, they showed their championship uh, pedigree, and we were slow to react to it, and uh, we just couldn't get it going. And, you know, we didn't play nearly as well as we needed to, and they, they showed why they're a championship team. Craig Birnbach, K2 here in Portland. Coach, do you think your guys just were a little exhausted tonight? Oh, I don't know about exhausted. Uh, certainly a slow start. Uh, it's hard to be exhausted in the first quarter. Um, you know, it's playoff basketball, and um, I, don't know, I don't know if we let up after having a good game in game three. Uh, it's hard to say, but um, I think it was much more about them and, and how good they are. And, uh, you know, obviously we didn't play as well as we needed to, but I wouldn't use that as an excuse. Mike Richard, the Oregonian Go ahead. again. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what can you say about Dame's effort? He seemed like, you know, you played him 42 straight minutes. Uh, you know, da Damien competed, and uh, I think he showed today what makes him a special player. He's um, he never he never stopped competing. Um, you know, his one of his best attributes is his will and his willpower, and I thought that showed tonight. And uh, we needed him. Uh, he kept battling, and when things weren't going well, um, you know, things eventually turned around in large part because of him. You guys are just going to alternate questions? We're trying. We're trying. All right. All right. Um, overall, I mean, I know it just ended, but uh, with the season, considering where you guys were before the All Star break, um, will you still walk away from this season and, and you know, uh, be happy with it, especially the second half? You know, this, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll evaluate this season, but. You know, this was um, this was a roller coaster for us from from day one. I mean, it was it's been an up and down season, um, frustrating in some ways, uh, but I think, as I told the team, what I'll remember most about this team is how we competed after the All Star break to uh, to make the playoffs. I mean, that that showed a lot of character, and I was very proud of the way we competed and made the effort to make the playoffs. Uh, it's a bad way to to end the season. It usually is in the playoffs, but uh, when I look back on this season, that's what what I'm going to remember most is how we came back in this, uh, since the All-Star break. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. You mentioned their championship pedigree. You played these guys last year, the Spurs, a few years ago. How does this Warriors team compare? Well, um, it'll be ultimately uh, decided in the playoffs. I mean, Last year they won, how many games did they win last year? 72, 73? Okay. Uh, so I would have said the same thing last year. Uh, ultimately, this team, the Golden State, will be um, decided by how they fare in the playoffs and if they win a championship. That being said, um, I think they're better than they were last year. Uh, I think they're more versatile. I think they're more explosive offensively. I think they're playing with a purpose, um, considering what happened last year. So. Um, they're formidable, and um, um, it's uh, it's going to take a great series to beat them, for anybody to beat them. Uh, Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle, Coach. What was it specifically about Javale that gave you guys so much, so many problems uh, this series? Uh, you know what? Uh, with all due respect to Javale, it was more about he was the recipient of a lot of good passes and playmaking, and he has a talent to finish around the basket, and if we if we didn't keep our man in front of us, if we didn't uh, do the right coverage on a pick and roll, if he got out in transition, uh, he was the recipient of, of some good passes. And to his credit, he's you know he's an athletic big man who can finish around the basket. But um, I think he complements uh, he complements the other players on the roster really well because you have to account for him around the basket, and you certainly have to account for the other guys. 
uh, all over the court. Anthony Slater Bay Area News Group. Uh, Draymond Green, I think, had 17 blocks in four games. You know, he's 6'8". He's not considered a traditional rim protector, but how disruptive is he just as a shot blocker? Uh, you know, shot blocker, I, probably more as a as a help defender, and certainly that means uh, most of his blocks were were off ball off ball blocks where he's coming to help. But he's an outstanding help defender. He's uh, he has a great knack to uh, be in the lane and and help. He reads play as well, and uh, I think that's you know when with the way their team is constructed, uh, that that talent really helps them. This is Sue from Tencent. Uh, people say you guys uh, have a bright future, but uh, what are you guys going to focus on for the next season? Well, I think it's a little too early to talk about next season right now. Um, you know, we're a relatively young team. I think we're the youngest team in the playoffs. Uh, this was a good experience to understand playing against a team like Golden State. Um, you know, Neil, is, Neil has done an outstanding job with the roster every offseason, and I'm sure uh, – Obviously, there are always changes going from one season to the next, but um, you know a lot of our growth is going to have to be internal, and the players on the roster now uh, need to continue to get better as they have. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great off season.